we think trans people are so far away from us so we're not connecting the dots that like I am a trans person I think we see trans people as like this far off narrative particularly the way we talk about like are trans women allowed to be in sports and like we ask all these like ridiculously hateful questions you're asking like does my existence matter like do I belong in sports mind you I'm already in sports and I already do belong but I really wanted to like disrupt that narrative you gotta be fucking kidding me Make sure you guys leave some messages in the comment section. Make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so that you always know we have brand new content. This is Random Things You Need to Know. I know I've been gone for a while. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, I am your host for this episode, Brian Griner. You may know me as Brittany Griner because I, you know, when I'm when I'm playing basketball, that's the name that I go by. This episode is about. Definitely things in the WNBA that are a, a bit pff, astonishing to me. I didn't know this until now. Uh, let, let's, let's just jump into it. Meet Laisha Richardson. Uh, Laisha Richardson is a basketball. She's the WNBA player. Uh, she currently plays for, um, I don't know. who. That, does it really matter what team she plays for? One of those garbage teams, Atlanta the ball ups or the turnover queens or whatever i don't know either way all i know is that uh she recently uh she, she she's a, she's a, i guess she's like an activist she goes out there and she discusses the issues within the the community of us as WNBA players and she points out all of the problems that we are going through and um Oh, I'm sorry. Her name is Laisha Clarendon. I don't know where I got Richardson from. That's a ridiculous thing that I just said. Anyway, so she, this is what she does. Uh, oh, she plays for the New York Liberty. Um, she went to University of California where she claims this happened to her. When did you first meet Muhammad Mokhtar? I met him on my visits. He was just kind of like one of the main point recruiting people on campus. I remember him being very likable, very funny, very personable. How did your relationship with him I guess, evolve. It was also a very, another open secret that he hung out with a ton of student athletes outside of work hours. Sometimes it was very formal in the sense of like, we're all going to get pizza, like come meet here tonight at seven. And other times it was like a coffee shop across the street. I might've just gone in there to go get a tuna melt. And then like Mo was there and he's like, hey, come sit down. Like, talk to me, how are you doing? What's going on? How's your class schedule? You know, chit chat. And so that might turn into a one-on-one -on -one event. What do you remember about the invitation from Mokhtar or how you guys arranged a meetup at his home? Uh, I remember just inviting me like, oh, do you want to see my place? And I was like, sure. Again, thinking it was the safe place that I could go to. And then what happened? I went to the restroom. When I was pulling my pants up, he like opened the door and that's when he physically assaulted me, sexually assaulted me. He fingered me. That's disgusting. With my pants down. I remember pulling my pants back up, um, and I remember being driven back home by him, but I don't have any other memory of, like, the conversation we had, or did he say anything? Like, I was, it's like a space that, like, that I just, like, buried it and kind of moved on with life. Yes, apparently she claims that a man that she was her coach uh, sexually assaulted her. That's unfortunate. That's terrible. Uh, supposedly the school placed him on leave or whatnot. He's gone. He's out of here. Uh, Laisha also uh, clarif classifies herself as a homosexual woman. She is married to this woman, Jessica Dolan. They recently had a child. Okay. They recently had a child. And, um, yeah, just, they recently had a child, okay? And she also identifies herself as gender non-binary, and she does not believe that she is a male or a female, so she recently went and did this. And it's going public. So, Clara Dunn, who identifies as non-binary, uses all pronouns, she, her, they, them, him. What the fuck is going on? So, um... <laughs> In other words, by society standards, a shire is comfortable being referred to as a woman, but personally doesn't identify. Wow. 
So sources close to Lashire say it's a 29-year-old New York Liberty star underwent breast removal surgery, uh, also known as top surgery in early January and is recovering well. Look at that, bro. Wow. Now, who in their right mind would do that? Who would get rid of their breast? What woman don't want breast? You have women that has breast enhancements, uh, breast reductions, but who will completely have breast removal surgery? So she says, and I quote, I'm feeling free and euphoric in my body and, went tr and I want trans people to know and see that we've always existed and no one can erase us. What? Yes, she no longer has breasts now because being non-gender means you have to take off the parts of you that make you a part of a gender. Anyway, uh, recently she also spoke out against men who seem to not be supportive of the WNBA and um, other things in regards to the WNBA. Uh, check this out. The amount of black men who drag our league and blame women for their problems while not making the connection to how that's exactly what white people do to you regarding your race blows my mind. That's the double whammy of being a black woman. This is Lachey Clarendon who put this on Twitter and she said the amount of black men. Now she didn't say men, she said black men. And the reason why she said black men is because Draymond Green uh, has something and he said something about uh, the pay and the WNBA. I'm, I'm really tired of seeing them complain about the lack of pay because, because they're doing themselves a disservice by just complaining, you know, and right, they're not and, just complaining, huh? They're, they're not just complaining, really. But they are because they're not laying out steps that they can take to change that. It, it's coming off as a complaint because the people that can change it, they're just going to continue to say, "What well, a revenue isn't there. The revenue isn't there. So if you don't bring in the revenue, we can't up your pay." Okay, this is an all-star player in the NBA uh, who made a comment about the pay. Not because he's a black man, but because he's a professional NBA player who's played in the NBA for several years. And not only that, he's good at it because he's an all-star. Yeah, uh, the numbers have proven that 60% of the viewers of the WNBA are men. And uh, more men support the WNBA than women. I know during the NCAA tournament this year, I watched the NCAA men's tournament, but I frequently went back to the women's. I went back and watched them and it was atrocious. Um, even watching this video here, I'm sure you guys are looking at the reasons why no one would want to watch this in general. Question, question. If, if Laisha Clarendon is not a woman, and Laisha Clarendon considers themselves non-gendered or whatever the fuck, but they are appearing to portray themselves as a man. Shouldn't Laisha be in the NBA? Shouldn't she be trying to, tr to be in the NBA? Isn't it wrong for her to be in the WNBA with the rest of us? Isn't that, isn't that bad? Shouldn't she be in her, like, not in her own league? I mean, she clearly is not a woman, so she shouldn't be in the Women's National Basketball Association. She's going to try and be in the Men's Basketball Association. Interesting. I want, I'm pretty sure, I don't know. I don't know if she's taking gender hormones. I don't think she is because she's non-binary, right? She doesn't want to be either gender. She just got her breast cut off. And she's got, she's got a baby with this Caucasian woman. Which brings me to my second question. She is very, very, has a large issue with African-American issues and the problem with white supremacy. Yet she is married to a white woman. Isn't it interesting how all of these people who seem to be such advocates and hugely big on the racial equity and equality issue and look at the white people as evil, they're all married to white people or are dating white people in some way. I mean, except for Patrice Cullors. At least I'll give Patrice Cullors that. She's not doing that. So that's, there you go. That's one for Patrice. She's now one for 308. Good. It's good to get a win. I feel you. It's good to get a W, Patrice. Anyway, so I don't know. I'm very confused, but maybe that's why we're talking about Laisha today because she seems to be very confused as well. 
why do so many of these people uh, who like her, you know, these people who are like her, what, 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 why, why are they like this? Why are they such radical advocates? Why are they doing such radical things to their bodies? Why are they saying these things yet, you know, not doing, I don't, I don't see her giving up any money or doing anything to teach young non-gender binary conforming people to get into the WNBA or the NBA? Why isn't she helping them get some basketball skills? Why isn't she starting a group for just non-binary youth who are dealing with the same issues that she may have dealt with? Lots of talk, no action. Typical celebrity. One thing we do know, non-gender, binary, transgender, gay, straight, black, white, it doesn't matter. She's just like all the rest of celebrities. She's just talking. Not doing anything. And on the court, she obviously is not doing anything there either. Um, but none of them are. So what is it what is it really about? If if she's doing the average of the league, ah, whatever. So anyway, <laughs> what is the future of the WNBA now? What does this mean now that we have people like Laisha Clarendon? Will this mean that more transgender or non-binary people will be able to be in the WNBA? What will that do to the WNBA? Will that mean that more men who claim that they are women will be able to be in the WNBA? This may be the turning point that the WNBA needs. This may be the very thing that our league needs to actually compete with the men on a global scale. It is already proven that the men are funding the WNBA, have been for the past 25 years, and well, the 25th year is coming up, so it, it, it would only be making sense that they will be funding this year also, seeing as how I believe the women are not getting a raise. They've got a collective bargaining agreement to get a raise. This is great. So what, so what does this mean, though? Will there be more men in there? Will we see men in dresses just dunking all over these chicks? You know, what does this mean? I don't know. We'll find out soon because I'm sure that Laisha Clarendon is not the only one. She is not the only woman who is non-gender binary or whatever the hell in the league. She will not be the last one. She will. I'm sure. I'm sure there will be more. And I, I'm very curious to know when will they allow the first transgender player, a man who considers himself a woman, into the WNBA. And when that day comes. Will he be the LeBron James, the Michael Jordan, the Wilt Chamberlain, the Oscar Robinson, the Bill Russell of that league? No. Uh -huh. You guys, leave some messages in the comment section. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think that Laisha Clarendon is awesome? This is fantastic. This is great. I'm glad that she's doing this. This, this is great for the non-binary community. Okay. I mean, I, I don't, I don't find anything wrong with that. I mean, that's fine. If that's, that's a community that needs to be expressed, I guess that's fine. But what do you guys think about her being non-binary or it being non-binary in a league for women? The WNBA is for women. It's called Women's National Basketball Association. Should she, should they should be competing in the W in the NBA. When will the NBA allow uh, non-binary people to be in that? That's another question. When will that happen? See, you see what's going on here? You see you men are not even thinking about the things that women need. We need to be, not even want women, non-binary people. How non-inclusive is the NBA being? How dare you, NBA? Disgusting. It's time to let some non-binary people be in that NBA too. I'm sure non-binary people can take charges and can <laughs> just as well go up there and get their dunks blocked and they'll just get right back up. You know, as some non-binary man or woman or whatever they're calling themselves today. Who knows? But I tell you this, we need to get it, we need to make it happen. And the WNBA will be the forefront and will be leading the charge for non-binary people. You guys tell me what do you think? This is an interesting one. I'll be interested to see. Hey, the W the WNBA 25th season is starting very soon, people. Starting very soon. It's gonna be great. We got next. They've had next for the past 25 years. <laughs> it's so hard being this sarcastic. I'll see you guys in the next. Red of radio. I just I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I